Svelte is an example of this new kind of frameworks called disappearing frameworks. In this video we will try it out and we will build a simple Svelte application. My name is Maxim and I make programming tutorials to make it easier for you to digest new knowledge. If it sounds interesting then subscribe to the channel and let's go. First we are gonna scaffold new Svelte application using package called Dagit, 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 I don't know. We run it using npx, npx, Dagit. Then we specify the template called svelte.js template and we'll call our application svelte example. Now we go to the newly created directory called svelte example and we install the dependencies. Now let's try running our newly generated app npm run dev now our app is accessible on localhost 5000 let's switch to the browser and as you can see we have our hello world application let's edit some source code first let's look at the folder structure first file we're going to look at is package json it has all the dependencies listed here and available scripts as you can see we also have surf dependencies surf cli that allows you to serve static files from public folder. Another option is to run rollup, either to build your files or to build them in watch mode. Uh, this is what we've just done with the npm run dev command. Next we have our rollup config, but all the interesting files lay in the src folder. We have our main.js which is an entry point for our application where we basically mount our Svelte component. And the Svelte components are defined in these files with um, Svelte extension. As you can see, I don't yet have a VS Code plugin to support Svelte extensions, so I'm gonna install it now. Install extensions, Svelte, install. Now we should see syntax highlighting. Svelte components usually have the following structure. First, we have script tag that, uh, well, it basically contains the logic of your component. Then we have style with the style of your component. And then we have layout. Let's try to remake this app.svelte to a counter. First, we will need to remove this name variable. And instead, we will call it count equals zero. We'll start counting from zero. We'll also define two functions. First function will be called increment and another function will be called decrement. Increment will increase count by one plus equals one and decrement will do same but it will decrease it by one. Now we don't need to make the count variable accessible from outside of our component so we can remove the export statement. Now we can output value of our counter. Let's create a div, say count, and we'll use square brackets. How are they called? Curly braces, saying count. We can also remove style for now. We're not gonna use it. We also need to define two buttons to trigger our functions. First button will trigger increment, it will be a regular button saying increment and it will have on click handler. This is how you specify the handlers for your buttons and it will trigger our increment function. Now I can copy it over and create same button but for decrement. Decrement. Let's go to main.js. We're not gonna pass name to our function anymore, to our component anymore, so we can remove it. Now let's run our application. We're in the browser again. Let's try clicking increment, decrement, and as you can see, it works. What else can we do? You can also have conditionals inside of your layout. Let's make it so that if our count will be more than five, then we are not gonna show our increment button. We'll do it this, we can use this syntax to do it. If 
count less than five, then we have our increment button and we close our if using this syntax. So now we'll only have our increment button if our count is less than five. Let's try it out. We click increment, increment, increment again. Whoa. Now we can't click increment anymore because we only have decrement button. But when we click it, we have our increment button back. You can write them like this, colon, else, and then inside of it, we can use paragraph saying can't increment. Let's try it out. One, two, three, four, five, can't increment, decrement, and it works again. You can also have another condition in your else statement. Else if count, so you can say else if count is less than minus five or is bigger than minus five, then we have our decrement button. Let's see how it will work. Increment up to five, and now we can only decrement. This was a very basic example of how to use Svelte. In next tutorials, we'll cover more advanced techniques. If you like this video, press like button. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, then definitely subscribe to the channel and see you next time.